Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Video Gaming. My name is Adam, here with the fourth episode of the StarCraft II Legacy of the Void Let's Play, where we actually start Legacy of the Void. Previously, we had three episodes of Whispers of Oblivion, the prologue that I, I was that I did not realize was going to go three episodes long. I was like, oh yeah, it recommends doing the prologue first. Let's go. And I was kind of expecting, you know, because usually when you, you know, the other two games, you start them and they sort of tutorial tutorial you in and teach you everything. The prologue does not do that. So maybe the mo main story does. Maybe they just assume you've played the other ones and that's why the prologue didn't. I don't know. But we're going to start uh, the main story today. And, uh, let's see. Far above the Zerg-infested jungles of Ayr, the young hierarch of the unified Protoss, Art Artanis, has assembled the Golden Armada to retake his people's ancient homeworld. As the Templar forces prepare themselves for war, a small band of warriors fight a desperate battle to establish a beachhead within the ruins on the planet's surface. And story this far, I'm going to have to assume is going to be the same thing that we watched when we watched Story thus far previously. Yeah, it's my, my assumption. Because we already watched one Story thus far. I don't think they'd make, make it different here. They're probably just putting it here in case you didn't want to do the prologue. Normal. Blizzard. Entertainment. The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the color, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. do such amazing cutscenes. It's so much fun just to see those like <sighs> brought to life kind of thing. Oh, so cool. Legacy of the Void. The great evil looms over the galaxy. The dark god Amon has returned. Spurred on by Zeratul's prophecy, Kerrigan and her swarm set out to destroy Amon's hybrid forces, hoping to stop the coming oblivion. 
with the threat of the Zerg Queen absent, the Protoss Hierarch, Artanis, raised a massive invasion fleet, left the Dark Templar world of Shakuras, and committed to restore his people's former glory by reclaiming their lost homeworld of Ayar. Mission objectives are displayed in the top left corner of your screen. You must fulfill all main objectives to complete a mission. That feels a little more tutorial-like, right there. Yeah, yeah. You could find, there's objectives to the missions. You gotta complete those to, to complete the mission. <clears throat> that is the kind of thing they only tell you if they don't think you've played it all before. Okay, you can load now. I read everything. Thank you. Threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. For ire. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul! Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The End War has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to Ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! Strike as one across the surface of Ire. The Templar await your command, Hierarch. Press F2 to select all units of your army. We are one with the shadows. Press A. Oh no, what's that? No, it's more of us. I am 
I diverted some Colossi to join your forces. Use them well, Artanis. Let's see. Oh no, things on fire. What are you? No, nothing. We move unseen. Justice be done. You require right. my skills. Reset those. For the reckoning. There are yes, more. run. <laughs> Burn. For the reckoning. I am the voice. Of they don't the seem like they're doing very well. Require my skills. I don't know what that feral zerg pods are, but I feel like they should be destroyed. Especially because it's so easy to destroy. There is a Zerg hive cluster near your warriors. If possible, we should destroy it. Um, yeah, obviously. Moving up range, guys. Well fought, my warriors. Let us return our focus to reclaiming the warp conduit. Oh, I get it. Everything's frails are here. They're uh. These aren't, like, from the last game, there were Feral Zerg, which were Zerg not controlled by, um, Kerrigan, not controlled by the Overmind, without that. The point they're, point they're making is that these are those, Kerrigan has taken her forces elsewhere. That's all they're saying by calling them Feral Zerg. Just letting them use Zerg as enemies still, when clearly normal Zerg would have gone off with Kerrigan. And they keep giving me new guys, I've noticed. I, uh, I don't really have to worry about much anything. They're be as you say. constantly resupplying me, making this easy. Just a simple walk. Very well. Walk through the park. Oh, that's, that's a nice shot there. Very cinematic. Solendus, the conduit is ours. Warp down reinforcements. As you command. Two warp conduits remain in the grip of the Zerg. Ready yourselves, brethren. We move for victory. I am the heart of darkness. Very wise. Yep. We I'm move now up to 64 sea. units in my force here. For the reckoning. Artemis. There are more hives in the surrounding area. Destroying them would deal the Zerg a crippling blow. Yeah, I could have handled those much better by sending like a single guy towards them. Alright, we got a cripple one over here. As I say, okay then. A hive. Warriors annihilated. We strike as one. This hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. And now. Part of the downside to attacking the Hive Clusters is clearly that you're using up some of your forces and you, you're not actually making new units in this. 
You're just receiving them. But because they give you new units at the end of each one, my numbers actually increase rather than decrease. So... Oh no. Hierarch, we thank you for your aid. Allow us to join you in battle. Okay. Everybody's working on me now. That's the ten guys. Kala guide the blades. Oh, is that queen or something? Another hive lies in ruins. Only one remains, my warriors. Yep, not seen because we're shadows. Very well. Yeah, very, we move very, very well wise. with shadows. Yeah. I serve for now. Mm -hmm, my life for ire. I like that line. Intriguing. Oh no, there's lots of stuff here. Yeah, yeah, you, you die and stuff, that happens. The second warp conduit is activating now. Psi matrix signal confirmed. Reinforcements warping in at your location. We are one. Also creating a bridge to continue on. State right. thy bidding. We move <laughs> I'm so I have nothing to be concerned with. Artemis, this brood is coordinated. Their actions are intelligent beyond Feral Zerg. You speak truly, Zeratul. An unseen hand moves them. We must be on guard. Sounds like these Feral Zerg aren't so feral after all. Be the first victory of many. Ire will be restored. Mm -hmm. Even if it takes my life, I would give my life for Ire. I don't know. That is just a phrase that, I don't know. My life for Ire is in the first um, you know, StarCraft game. They say that. It's, it's one of the things. You know how, you, how they say very well. We move unseen. We are shadows. They say all that thing. My life for Ire was one of those in the first game. And it might be in this one. I haven't. It might just be specific units I have to have selected for it to be uh, heard. Anyways, they uh, they said that so much, and it just sort of became something that literally before playing StarCraft Two, because I played StarCraft One when I was a kid, so I remembered things and I enjoyed the game, but I did not understand the story. Uh, I just wasn't able to understand what the story was what's going on with the story. So I didn't understand what Fire was and all of that. It's their home world. It's what we're trying to retake right now. But they had that line, my life for Ire, and I remember that. It's always been something that's been in my consciousness. Uh, okay, impossible. A hybrid on Ire. 
It is a who the meeting is a okay. Oh I get it. They just explained how the ferals are being led. No, we have Colossus. have been secured. Our starfighters are moving to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. Okay. I'm glad you're gonna take that seriously. And as I don't trust what happens when I quit continue, as I don't know yet, and I had some interesting issues uh, during the prologue where it just dropped me into the next mission, and that might happen. I'm going to go ahead and end this here, and, uh, and say thank you for watching. Join me next time as we continue and see what comes after this victory screen. <laughs> Have a good day.